Hi, I'm Maria and I am a water cycle restoration practitioner. Quite a few years ago, I wanted to grow my own food and I found out I was not naturally talented at that. So I started studying soil biology. I kind of put the pieces together that plants were one piece, the soil was another piece, and it became pretty obvious that the third piece was water. I was not directly thinking about water in relation to our climate issues. I knew that vegetating landscapes was important for soil and holding water in some capacity, but I hadn't been thinking about water cycles in any way. There's a major key in this type of work that can help us in our resilience as climates continue to change. And combined with soil restoration, we could really, on a small scale, make big impacts. These actions are very attainable, and it's not you know, this huge solution that costs millions of dollars. The sweetest story is I have a neighbor. She came to me one day and said, a contractor wants $10,000 to redirect this water that's causing a problem in my driveway. You know, I looked at it with her and just said, hey, we could just build the tiniest little sweet rain garden right here, redirect it into our landscape and solve your problem and hydrate this area that's a dry area. It was a tiny little rain garden, so I was able to implement it for her in an afternoon. We've been uh, planting in it and kind of transforming this tiny little area. I feel like that's kind of a sweet story of a, of a real life implementation. I think the group of people that have shown up for this is unbelievable and there's so much knowledge and so probably my most important learning moments have been um, connecting with other people and seeing their perspectives as we move through these projects. I'm gonna get some more excavator experience. I think there's a lot of opportunity in these big earthworks projects to do some more work with soil biology. Combining that could be kind of an angle that some of these projects could really benefit from. So I think knowing how to build these systems is important, but I think also knowing how to improve these systems is you know, an important place where I could continue to work.